At the time, I was getting more and more worried. I was reading as much stuff as I could. Uh, and I, I read an article about the support that the FSU had given to a, an employee on, on a similarish kind of case. And I thought, well, let's give them a try. Because I've got nothing to lose. Um, and it was the best decision I've probably made in my whole life, <laughs> without a doubt. Um, an unbelievable organisation from top to bottom. Um, can I say, join it. <laughs> I don't care who you are, where you are, what you're doing, what your politics are, join this organisation because they are doing some amazing things. You know, if I hadn't had your help, God knows how would I have got through it. I am so grateful for the help that I've had from the Free Speech Union. Mm. Um, at a really trying time, um, the, the advice from them and having someone on the end of a phone you can just say actually you're okay that, that's what you should be doing um, was phenomenal. That's the best decision I've ever made in my life apart from having my daughter joining a free speech union absolutely because he's absolutely incredible the support has been outstanding like it actually apart from just being believed and taken seriously you know, there was that emotional support as well, which, you know, this was really hard going and nothing was ever done without me, like, seeing things off, you know, it's just so professional the whole way, but also really friendly and, like, personable, which is really, really important. The Free Speech Union has warned against the two largest financial regulators in the UK, the FCA and the PRA, over their diversity and inclusion proposals. Joining me now to discuss this is Ben Jones, he's Deputy Case Director of the Free Speech Union. Well, Toby Young is the General Secretary of the Free Speech Union and somebody who we've worked with on this programme before because we want to get out into the public some of the ridiculous things, some of the bad things that are happening in our country. We have dealt with 2,250 cases of somebody being penalised or punished or sacked or expelled from their university for exercising their right to freedom of expression. So the bad news is that the scale of this problem is absolutely vast. The stories that dominate the headlines are the cases like that of Nigel Farage and Coots debanking, Kathleen Stock, the ongoing endless monstering of J.K. Rowling. These stories all absolutely deserve the press attention that they get, but that really is just the tip of the point of the iceberg. Beneath that, there is a vast problem, which I'm afraid to tell you all, is worse than people generally think. That's the bad news. The good news is that of those 2,250 cases, Free Speech Union has achieved a favourable outcome, like the outcome Nick has just described, 73% of the time. If you had cosmetic surgery and weren't happy with the results, you might go on to a support group and ask for advice about what to do. Well, that's what Tracy Holland did, and it landed her in court. She was accused of harassment and threatened with an injunction by the clinic involved, Signature. As we've reported before, she's amongst five women and one man faced with legal action after posting unfavourable comments about Signature on support groups and review sites. But a judge has thrown out the application to gag Tracy, describing it as totally without merit. And Tracy did tell me that she wouldn't have been able to do this, to take the legal action, without the support of the Free Speech Union, which has helped her and which put her in touch with a solicitor. My name's Simon Isherwood, and I used to be a senior conductor manager for London North Western Railway. In 2020, I was suspended from work having been overheard talking to my wife at the end of a webinar on the subject of white privilege and having gone through the disciplinary procedure for West Midlands trains, I was subsequently dismissed. At the point that I got in touch with the Free Speech Union, I hadn't spoken to anybody at all. All I'd done was contact the tribunal and say that I was going to start an unfair dismissal case. And to someone who's not used to any form of legal documentation, I was a bit taken aback. And I remember sitting there thinking, is it worth it? I'd written out what I thought was a good piece to why I was wronged and then I read what the Free Speech Union said and I realised I've so made the right decision here. I won the tribunal and the judgement was that the only thing I was guilty of was a minor misdemeanour of leaving my phone on and that was all. The judge also said the actions of West Midlands trains were not the actions of a reasonable employer. The turning point was joining the Free Speech Union. 
I am in no doubt that had I not had the support of the FSU, I would not have won. And had I not won, I dread to think where I'd be. If I'd not been a member, I wouldn't even have known the right procedure to follow. If you find yourself in the position that I found myself in, get in touch because the Free Speech Union gave me hope for the future where there was no hope and I was treated like a person. They were interested in my case and my predicament. It felt like they cared. They were really, really on my side.